uh, you can just go to google classroom and then you can post your attendance now uh, you can uh, i think you can do it now so i think we'll usually wait for 80 people right now only 70 are there i am coming sir okay it'll just take only 10 seconds everyone you can uh, minimize google meet go to google classroom and then you can post today's attendance you'll see there is a question uh, that says uh, today's attendance you can just go and post it people are still coming in uh, we'll wait for them sir yes sir i don't have a google classroom code sir okay let me show you the code which class are you yesterday it was posted in the whatsapp group when the message was sent to you the okay. same time the link is the google classroom code is also posted along with it Which section are you? Ma'am, seventh uh, A, ma'am. Okay. okay, you can see seven A code right in the uh, screen there. Let me show. Post the code in chat box also. Just join. Post your attendance. Sir. Sir. Yes. I'm having a doubt. Sir, I didn't get the attendance sir, in uh, Google Classroom. Which uh, class are you in? Section are you? Seventh A, sir. Okay, uh, just look here. In seven uh, A, you have today's date. Have, uh, it's already active. Yes, sir. I will. Go to class work section. Uh, C under attendance uh, category. Sir, I'm having one doubt, sir. Yes. Sir, in Google Classroom, how can we see the code of the classroom, sir? To class. see the code, just uh, click on the home page. So here, I can uh, come to the home page, and then I can see the code. So, if you want to check for Android, uh, just yeah. open Google Classroom. Okay. Settings. Yes. So, once you are uh, in the Google Classroom, just click on any class, and then you can click this I button right here. Okay. Sorry. Uh, There will be a settings button, sir, in Android. Uh, Yes, Let me share, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay, seven A. So some some way you want to look at your uh, um, classroom code in Android phones, okay, in your mobile. So you will just go into your Google Classroom page and select the section, and then you can just look at the uh, settings uh, button here. So on the top right the corner, you have three. Yes. That's like my phone was not having that settings like ma'am. You will you would please check. Ma'am, I think every teacher have that, ma'am. Okay, uh, yes. ma'am. I'm actually presenting uh, how to see the classroom code also, ma'am. Okay, sir. So uh, if you uh, click on any uh, click on any classroom in Google uh, Classroom, you will see a gear wheel icon, a uh, setting wheel icon. Just click on it and then uh, scroll down. You will see your uh, general information. There you see classroom your code. classroom code and invite link. Okay, uh, it is not visible right now because I'm using this on my uh, computer. That was, uh, that's why there was a confusion. Okay, uh, I think uh, it's time now. Even can we start the class? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So let's just do a quick revision, and then we'll see one new concept, and then we'll have time for practicals also. So I've uh, asked all of you to install one app for practical purposes. For uh, Windows, you don't need to install anything. But if you're using Android, uh, we've seen an sir, app that you need to install. Sir, I am using Tab. Sir, can I also yes. install? Tab also, you can install the same thing. So the name of the app is called as A Code. Of course, uh, of course, ask the permission of your parents before installing this. So A Code. Sir, ready? Yes. Ready? Um. 
Yes. Sir, when they are put up, they are not going to show up. Now, come on, ma. Okay. I think you are not. Uh... Okay. Okay. Any other doubts? Sir, in last of the chapter. For the name of the name of the app, sir. For laptops, you don't need to install anything. Okay, just listen. For laptops, you don't need to install anything. For laptops, no installation. For laptops and computers, you don't have to install anything. You need to install only for Android phones. So those who are using Android phones only, you need to install an app. Sir, I'm using, using laptop. Sir, for laptop, no need to install anything. Okay. 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 Uh, those yeah, Android users alone. That what we should do, sir. I'll show you all the steps. Okay, I'll yeah. show you all the steps. So I think we've seen this in the last class itself. The name of the app we'll be using is called as A Code. So this is nothing but a text editor. It will allow you to edit text documents. Okay. Uh, so this app does not contain any ads. That's why we are suggesting it. You can of course go for other apps also. Uh, but we recommend this one, A Code. Uh, I think it's relatively safe. So just go to Google Cloud. Uh, sorry, Google Play Store. Search for the uh, keyword A Code. Okay, no spaces, just the word A Code. Uh, you'll find this app. I'm sharing the. Uh, uh, I'm sharing the Google Play Store page. It says A Code, powerful code editor. This is the name of the app. Uh, you can just install, and the icon is in blue. Okay. If you download it, uh, that's well and good. We are going to be using this app for our practical. Okay. Sir. Sir, sir I can't see. Sir, I can't see your presentation. Okay, sir. I think it's off. So let me present again. Sir, today we have yes, practical, sir. Yes, today we'll have a small practical. So I think I was not presenting before. So now you can take a look. So this is the name of the application. This is the logo. Uh, everyone just ask the permission of your parents and then install it. Okay. Uh, so we'll see how to use this A code and we'll see how to program the computer today. Uh, so let's just do a quick revision and then we'll start. So we've seen about uh, hypertext markup language. So this hypertext markup uh, hypertext markup language is what browsers use to communicate. So browsers are like your file system, uh, file explorer, but they're different. So in a file explorer, you can navigate your uh, Windows computer, okay? But anytime you open the file, the file will open in some other application, okay? So Windows File Explorer is only for navigating your file system. But a browser, it can do both. It can navigate and execute files on the internet. So anytime you open a browser, okay, let me just uh, show you a quick example. Anytime you open a browser, if you go to youtube.com, the video is playing right in the browser. So what do I have here? Okay, let's search for the word cat. Okay, so if I uh, search for the word cat on YouTube, here you can see uh, YouTube, uh, the video is actually playing inside the browser. Okay, uh, let's say go for some other application, some other uh, website, like maybe Miniclip. Okay, here uh, I can play various games. So if I Click on some uh, game like this. Here you can see. Okay. Here you can see the game is loading right in my browser. Okay. So unlike traditional computers file system, uh, you can uh, in a file system you can only navigate. But anytime you click on the file, it's going to open somewhere else. Okay. So this is the advantage of browsers over traditional file systems. And browsers only work on the internet. Okay. And uh, to do all of these things, uh, browsers use a unique language called as HTML. This, this is why we need to learn HTML. Anytime you want to create your own website, or anytime you want to put any content online, or if you want to share content online on a specific page, we're going to use this language called as HTML. Uh, HTML, the meaning of the word HTML is uh, broken down into three. We've seen all of this uh, in the last class. Uh, let's just continue. Uh, we've seen why uh, we cannot use plain English to code uh, in a browser because plain English will simply cause too much confusion. So we're going to use a structured language called HTML. Okay. Uh, so let's say you want to display the name, uh, uh, display the name Raj in your browser. 
if you simply try to communicate with english that's going to cause lots and lots of confusion as you've seen uh, as you've discussed this already but if you use a structured language the computer will display our content very very easily so we are using something called as tag to create the structure uh, tags are any text that is enclosed within this angle brackets okay uh, so we are using tags to create the structure of a html page okay once you uh, create a type all of this text into your uh, uh, notepad or your text editor uh, you can create a html page uh, we are going to see the practical in a second so all html pages are going to follow this exact same structure just like a book any time you pick up any book anywhere in the world you are going to have the same exact pattern on the sir one doubt sir yes sir for our uh, making our own website to for background what we should do sir for for background background image there is a tag for background image also uh, we are going to discuss that in i think in chapter 3 or i think chapter 2 okay we are still starting out so we'll uh, approach this in simple parts okay, okay. Uh, so once you complete uh, this year you will be able to create websites yes, and uh, hosting websites that is an entirely another uh, subject we'll see that later okay we'll see that maybe next year yes sir okay uh, so let's see how to create a very very simple page now so a web page is exactly like a book any time you have a book the book is i'm going to have a standard format the format is a front cover some pages and then the back cover exactly like this your html is also going to follow the same pattern so your uh, html uh, page starts in the top left corner from the title bar and it ends in the bottom right corner okay and this is the start and end of your page and the start and end of your page is denoted with these tags start of the page is denoted with uh, this html in angle brackets so this is known as your start tag okay so this is your start tag and uh, the slash html indicates your end tag you can see all of these tags come in pairs so if you have and uh, if you have some tag here it is going to have a pair okay uh, so both of these indicate the start and end of a section okay and uh, in uh, html's case uh, it indicates the start and end of the entire web page okay uh, next we have something called as head so in the head in the head section we can denote uh, things that go on the title bar in some websites if you open a website you will see the title bar will display uh, the title of the web page and the logo also so here i have uh, this uh, google classroom open here i can see uh, on the title bar it says uh, classwork for sample class and then you can see a tiny logo also so whatever uh, content you want to put in the title bar you can put everything in the head section okay Uh, in the head section you can put all content related to the title bar so if you put the content uh, somewhere else it will not be reflected in the title bar that is the most important thing so this is the exact pattern followed by html it's similar to a book okay sir doubt sir yes. what is mean by a tag sir uh, so um, tag is just uh, code okay so if you want to like uh, let's say you want to display the name raj on your uh, screen okay so if you simply say display raj okay the computer will display raj somewhere here or it can display here or it can display anywhere on the screen so you're not giving clear instructions so in order to provide clear instructions to the computer we're going to use these tags okay so these tags are like your uh, how do you say it's like a code okay so uh, programmers have written this h uh, written pro, uh, this uh, browsers to understand only html okay so whenever you open some uh, some website in a browser what's going to happen is this browser will only understand html and html tag okay so sir, let's let me simplify sir okay ma'am yes ma'am uh, 
Chill and listen. So if you want to, uh, you yourself, uh, uh, you are creating a book. Okay. So if you want to create a book, or very simple, uh, we will give assignments in the classroom, right? You do your chart works by yourself, right? So first, what you do, you plan what to write where. Yes, you open a chart. You immediately what you do, you you just uh, um, uh, keep ready your content and the required materials to write onto the chart, right? So these are the required things that you want to uh, complete a chart. Fine. So once you have got the content ready and once you have all the materials with you, like your stationary items, so what is going to happen? You are just going to think of where to place the content. Right. So, if you are uh, sticking a picture onto a chart, you will select a location and if you are uh, going to write a paragraph or if you are going to make a flow chart, anything you want to make it onto the chart, you first fix the location for the for things. Right. So, according to the size of the thing, uh, size of the content also. Right. If you are making a very big paragraph, maybe uh, 10 to 15 lines of uh, uh, lines, your uh, statements you are going to write on the chart. So you will fix the position of the chart, maybe your horizontally or vertically. So however you want, you make it, you keep it, you fix the place, everything and then you start writing. Right. So once you have made it, um, there is nowhere in correcting the uh, things that you have written on the chart. Right. But in this, it is not so. The same concept. So, however, you plan to keep ready to write everything onto the chart. The same thing you are going to make it here also in HTML. So, tags are nothing but the plan, the uh, way you are going to place the content. Okay. So, that thing must be instructed to the computer properly, to the browser properly, right? So, in that case, you are using tags. Okay. So, uh, if, if you are using the tags, for example, if it is P, the basic tag is P, paragraph tag, fine. So, that tag is just going to uh, indicate the browser that it is a paragraph, okay. So, HTML, it has a opening tag and the start tag. So, uh, sorry, opening tag and the closing tag, right. So, it is, uh, it is indicating the browser like uh, it is a HTML page and many tags are used within. So, browser, look at, you have many tags. Uh, to be noted. So, all the tags you have to understand what are the tags. If it is B, then you have to, whenever the content or the text which is uh, indented within the B tag, then it, the content must be in bold. Okay. So, if it is I, you would have uh, used in your flash also. Uh, flash, it is not possible. So, if you have used your documents, Word document, you would have explored all these things. Okay. So, all these are the basic thing that is there inbuilt in the applications. Uh, we, we are creating our own web pages, right? So, to make it, we have to instruct the browser every time to do this, to do that, everything we have to instruct, okay? So, that instruction is sent via tax, okay? So, that is a very basic, simple concept. It is all, whatever we need to uh, instruct to the browser uh, in HTML, we simply use tags, okay? So, this is what the explanation for tags. So, might uh, you would have understood the concept of tag, right? So, any instruction you want to convey to the browser in HTML, you are going to use tag. Without tags, uh, your browser is not going to do, do the work properly. Okay, whenever you run your code in HTML, you must uh, use tags and that is the basic structure of the HTML page. It is a programming language, right? You are writing the program. So, you are instructing the uh, browser to uh, do uh, so and so things, right? So, to do that, the basic uh, command you are going to use is tags. So, tags are multiple. We have multiple different tags and everything we learn in the classes, right? So, is it clear? Now, can you get the point? What is tag and why do we use tag? So, whenever the tags are used, you that will be enclosed within the angle brackets. Right. So, before HTML, you would have looked at, uh, it is a hang, angle bracket over there. Uh, so, uh, angle bracket and you will also close with the angle bracket. Right. So, every tag will be enclosed within the angle brackets. Fine. So, this is the very basic concept. Uh, if you are clear with this, then it will be easy for you to understand. Proceed further. Am I, am I clear, children? Yes, ma'am. 
okay yes, so sir. you must not uh, think what is tag okay tags are simply uh, used to instruct the browser in the html page right yes sir you can proceed sir oh, okay ma'am uh, so children as you can see here so these tags communicate with the browser to position specific text in specific places okay as ma'am uh, just explained so each tag is going to do a specific function okay uh, so if we have the html page it's going to indicate where the, when to start the uh, when to start displaying text on the browser head tag will display uh, content relevant to the title bar and next this body tag will uh, display all the content in the main section of your uh, browser okay and uh, if you have different uh, sections like if you have multiple paragraphs or multiple headings you can display all of those by using specific tags so tags will not be displayed on the browser whatever content you have that is outside the tag will be displayed as it is okay and whatever uh, text you type inside these angle brackets will not be displayed on the browser here you can see on this uh, simple document we have many tags but when you look at the output in the browser you will see there are no uh, uh, tags tags are just for the understanding of the browser we need to uh, insert the browser uh, on uh, where to place each one of the text so this is these are just instructions for the browser instructions or commands for the browsers are called as tags right uh, so uh, each tag is going to have uh, uh, generally tags have three parts okay and the three parts are on opening tag the closing tag and then the content okay so we've seen why we need tags um, let's just see uh, all the types of tags okay uh, so let me show you practically also so there are two types of tags one is called the container tag so the container tag will follow this pattern it will have three major parts it will have an opening and a closing and then in between opening and closing you can put your content there is one more type of tag called an empty tag and this empty tag will actually work alone okay let's uh, see a small demo so we have uh, a code running here uh, you can see i've uh, typed a simple code here uh, it says title review sheet okay let's change the title to uh, children this is for those who use androids okay a code is for those who use androids that is your mobile phones okay so those who are those who are using your laptops or your computers you will just go into the notepad okay click on your start button type notepad in the search area fine so you will get the window open immediately okay ma'am if you are searching in the laptop i didn't get like i got ma'am but i can't uh, get for, for laptop i'll show you for laptops i'll show you what to do uh, yeah. let me just uh, show you the demo first okay uh, let's say i'm okay. in html right now okay someone is not here yeah. i also has laptop ma'am okay okay no problem children please listen to the class ma'am for tab ma'am please listen to the class no problem ma'am for tab will tell you which keys to use okay uh, so just listen for now uh, so let's say we want to display two lines of uh, two lines on our browser let's say the first line should be my first line and then the second line should be my second line okay uh, let's say uh, second let's say these are the text that you want to display on your uh, website okay so if you type it in the same way if you say my first line and then give some enter uh, give some uh, enter keys and then if you type my second line the browser will not understand this okay let's see the output here so if you say my first line and my second line in such a way even if you give many enter keys it's not going to understand okay so the browser is extremely dumb so you have to say explain each and every line so in order to give these line breaks we are going to use one more uh, tag called as the line break tag here you can see even though i gave many enter keys in my code i can't see the uh, next line my second line is not actually going to the next line okay sir i am not uh, typed first line was my first line and second time was 
second line was my second line but i was written sir okay now how can how can now what is the next step sir so the next step is you need to use one more uh, tag okay this tag is called as your uh, line break tag so this tag will add the entity for you okay so your browser whenever you're typing in html this enter is not actually recognized in you can give 1000 enters but the browser but the browser will not understand the use of this enter key so if you want to put an enter key or if you want to break a line break a sentence into two you need to use this line break tag and the line break tag is as follows you need to put enclose br inside angle brackets to simulate an enter key okay now let's see the program how it works here you can see i have given some 10 or 20 enter uh, i pressed enter 10 or 20 times and then i have given one line break tag okay let's see what happens so the enter key has uh, no effect okay we can see only tags will insert the browser we cannot uh, uh, insert the browser in any other way okay so we have seen the basic explanation of tags and the time is around 8:30 so uh, let's just take a look at uh, how to actually uh, do the practical for each one of these uh, exercises okay so we've seen how to create a page okay so let me just show you how you can create a page in both html uh, sorry in both your computer and your android phone okay uh, let's let's see how to create a page in your uh, uh, computers first so those who are using laptops please pay attention So let's say you want to create a page. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your own folder in your laptop. You're going to have tons and tons of space. Uh, just uh, go create your own folder in a specific place. Okay. So I'm creating my folder in Documents here. Uh, so you can create it wherever you want. Go to a specific place and then uh, just create a new folder. Once you're uh, done creating a folder, uh, you'll have you'll see the folder will be empty or it won't have many files. and you'll see lots and lots of uh, empty space here what i want you to do is i want you to right click on this empty space okay can you see what i'm doing i'm simply right clicking so once i right click i can see uh, there is a sub menu opening on my screen okay so do not right click on a file uh, you'll get different options right click on the blank area okay as i'm showing you here right click on the blank area Uh, then you'll get a sub menu in that sub menu you have an option called as new once you're in that new sub menu it will uh, it will allow you to basically uh, create new files okay it will create uh, it will allow you to uh, create a list of files okay uh, so among this you can create a text document you just click on text document okay so here you can say selected text document and then it placed a text document for me on my uh, uh what do you say on my screen okay on my uh, folder it is just created a text document so let me just open this text document so i can type my code okay so once i double click on my text document it is showing me a blank window where i can type text i can type whatever i want i can type text here so instead of uh, typing random things i'm going to uh, type my code here okay let me uh, Uh, let me just copy and paste the code possible okay uh, let me just type it out so to adjust the settings of your uh, fonts you can just go click on format and then you can click font okay uh, so let me select a higher font so you can see better so let me just type the code now so all of you don't have to uh, know the code by uh, heart you can just uh, uh, refer your content books so if you look at uh, page number 6 you have your uh, uh, sample content let me just type the same code uh, into the uh, uh, notepad okay so observe what i'm doing i'm just typing the code given on page number 6 so so the first uh, line of your browser of your html document should always be html so this html tag uh, it instructs the browser to start displaying a web page and uh, the next section should be your head tag so this head tag is going to start displaying content on your title bar okay and uh, we'll use the title tag 
to specify the text that should be written into your title bar okay uh, we'll say something like my title or we'll say a name uh, so let me just type my own name okay. then i'm going to use uh, this slash title to indicate my title is over okay sorry so i'm going to say title uh, open title tag and then i'm going to say my name and then close title tag so only whatever is uh, inside this title and title tag will be displayed in my title bar okay uh, next let me close my head section so if i'm done working with the head section i'm just i can just close it now on to the main body of our uh, browser to instruct uh, text to be placed in the body i can use this body tag so once the browser sees body tag it will start uh, uh, it will start pouring content into the body of the browser so let me say uh, let me tell something like uh, uh, my name is pradeep let me say my name is pradeep of free gurukulam school and uh, once i have typed all my content i have to indicate where the end of the uh, content is so to indicate the end of the content i'm going to say slash body okay once the content is over the web page is also over to indicate the end of the web page i'm going to say slash html okay this is the way uh, we are going to uh, insert the browser so using various tags we are interest uh, we are uh, instructing the browser on where to place uh, where to place each part so uh, content uh, the uh, text in the title uh, uh, tag will be placed in the top okay in the top and text in the body tag will be placed in the main section of a browser so let's execute this program so to execute this code what you need to do is you need to go to file everyone pay attention this is vitally important so click on file and then you need to click on save as do not click save you click on save as okay one more time so you're going to click on save as so those are using the computer click on save as this is extremely important your code will not work if you click on save once you click on save as it will show you where you originally created your text document it will show you your folder okay so right now you can see my our, our folder uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, convert this into HTML page now. Okay, so here you can see it says this is of type text document. Uh, we've seen from the first class that the browser only understands HTML documents. So it only understands files of the type HTML. So if we save it as a text document, then the browser won't understand it. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say save as type and I'm going to say all files. Okay, I'm going to say all files. Then in the file name, I'm going to say uh, my name followed by a dot followed by HTML. Okay, so if I follow these steps, then it will be saved as a HTML file. Okay, uh, so let me click on save. Let me show you the procedure once again. So here you can see once it's saved, I can see uh, a, a file with my name on it. So I've now successfully created a HTML page. Uh, let's see what happens if you don't follow the procedure. Uh, let's say you don't uh, save it as a, a HTML file. If you leave it as a text document, what will happen is you'll just create another text document. Okay. Here you can see if you don't change the file type, it will remain as a text document and you can't uh, the browser will not understand this text document let, let me show you how okay let me show you so i have a browser here i'm going to open this uh, text file with a browser so here you can see i'm opening this uh, text file with a browser and the browser is showing me all the content without uh, proper formatting it is showing me head tag and everything. So this is the wrong output. Okay. Only HTML files will be understood by the browser. So this is our uh, wrong file. Now let me show you the proper file. Okay. So here you can see a proper file. 
so it is showing me the title uh, my name in the title bar and in the body it is showing me content the content was my name is pradeep of sri gurukulam school so it is showing me proper content and the proper content uh, proper text in the body okay so if you do it improperly uh, if you don't save it as a html file you will see all the text okay so the browser is not doing any work here it is simply displaying everything to avoid this always make sure you are saving as a html file so once again yeah. if you want to save it as a html file click on file click on save as then you are going to click on save as type as all files set uh, save as type as all files then sir in save as type you should uh, right click sir uh, no you left click okay just it's just a sub menu so left click here uh, you'll see what are the various types offered click on all files once you do that type your name whatever name you want okay uh, i'll say name and then followed by a dot followed by a html uh, code okay so this is what you call as your extension okay so name followed by dot html if you don't do this also you will once again generate an error so here i am making a mistake intentionally instead of html i am saying htl okay let's see what happens so here you can see uh, this htl is also not recognized by the browser but html is recognized by the browser so this is what i am telling you these are all the mistakes you are going to make so avoid all of them so we'll be posting a recording of this meeting also so you can refer to the same recording again and again when you are doing your homework okay uh, so let me close this i think this is sufficient explanation so this is how you can get your uh, output sir we can do in the computer also sir yes this is what you are going to do in the computer so this is the get a file sir yes sir you will send this uh, you will post in google classroom sir Uh, i'll post the youtube link in your whatsapp group of this uh, meeting uh, i'm not sure what you're asking no sir you will set the uh, this uh, class recording no sir yes you will post this uh, recording in classroom or whatsapp sir yes we've been posting all the recordings in uh, your whatsapp group Okay, everything is uploaded. You can just pin the uh, YouTube page, or you can just click. Uh, you can just subscribe there. Uh, so as soon as the uh, video, I'll just receive a notification. Okay. So once the class is over, sir, remember, please. Sir, you told that uh, for practical, uh, we done in the computer means how can we uh, go to the Google okay. Classroom and how can we post? Sir? Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Okay. Uh, so let me show you. Uh, Android also. Then let me show you how you are going to do your homework. Okay, so let's go to Android now. So I think everyone has understood how to create a HTML page in your uh, laptop or computer. Okay, so uh, steps are go to your own folder, right click, and then say new, and then say text document. Once you say text document, this uh, white uh, notepad file is going to appear. so type all of your code okay on page number 6 and then say file and then click on save as once you click save as you set the type as all files okay and then you put your name uh, as the file name you put your name as the file name followed by a dot html extension that's all okay and now let's see how we can uh, recreate the same in your uh, uh, what do you say in your uh, android phone okay some of you are using android phone we'll see how So to get sir, your output, yes. Sir. Yes, tell me. Uh, sir, I'm using uh, laptop for meeting, sir. Google Classroom is in Android, sir. So if I learn, uh, you can do uh, it. In, you can do it in both. You can do whichever you prefer. You can uh, you can use whichever you prefer. Okay. If you prefer doing it with your Android phone, so, because it is easier. Use your Android phone. It's not a problem. Sir, if I'm using computer, how can I post the practical, sir? I'll Google. show you now. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. Just uh, let's see how to create a HTML file uh, in your Android phone first. Okay, let me just show you. Then we'll see how to submit. Okay, uh, so those are using your uh, Android phone to create HTML pages. You have to listen carefully now. Okay, so 
we are going to use a specific app called as uh, a code for creating our uh, html pages so this a code is exactly like your notepad on for lab sir computer what for lab sir yes for lab activities we are going to use this a code application for lab he is asking sir for laptop for laptop uh, you are going to use your notepad notepad is pre installed we don't have to do anything okay okay sir so okay sir. computer i don't have to install anything no app required yes sir sir if i run this uh, program how can i search in the chrome sir you don't have to search so once you complete everything okay i want to complete everything your file will appear in your uh, folder just double click on the file you'll see your output okay like chrome sir yes so once yes, you watch it you will see the output exactly on your browser it will open automatically in your browser you don't have to do anything just type your code properly save it as a proper html file and then you will see uh, your uh, file will have this chrome icon on it just click double click and then you'll see your output sir how to save the file as sir the file is already saved here you can see the file sir okay. name of the file name of the file you can edit it while you are uh, while it's open in notepad so to edit the name of the file click on file click on save as so it will show you what is the file save uh, what is the type click on all files then it's going to ask you file name right here okay so if your name is something like uh, okay uh, it's something like raj say raj followed by dot html so instead of raj you can type whatever name you want okay you can give your page number you can say something like uh, page 6 program 1 you can type whatever name you want here it doesn't matter so as soon as you type the name so it's going to create your html file right in your folder okay sir so, yes sir yes go on sir youtube channel name please i'll post the link afterwards okay so let's just go over to android now so for android we're going to use this app called as a code just install and click on a code once you do that it's going to uh, it's going to show you this environment here so to create your uh, uh, first uh, html page you go to the uh, corner okay you go to the corner uh, <laughs> corner you see dots okay so you are going to click on these three dots and then you are going to say new file so once you say new file it's going to ask you your file name right here so it's going to ask you the file name first so type your file name first so let me type something like uh, pradeep.html okay so once i do that it's going to uh, allow me to type html code here you can see html symbol right there so let me just copy and paste the code so this is the code available from page 6 of your notebook or oh, sorry your content book so i'm going to say the title as uh, my name in the body i'm going to say something like hello world okay so here you can see i'm following the exact same layout so let me not explain it again Uh, so now if i want to execute this uh, code okay the procedure is extremely simple i don't have to do anything all i need to do is to click on this play symbol right here okay once i create the once i create a new file by clicking on the three dots uh, i'm going to save it as a html file once i once i'm done typing all of my code i'm going to click on this play icon here once i click on play icon it's going to show me how to preview just uh, say browser once you do that your uh, html page is going to automatically open in a browser as shown here okay so this is how you can uh, create uh, html pages with your android phone is that clear everyone yes sir yes sir yes, sir. Uh, next on to google classroom for submission of your uh, content just uh, one second So right now I'll be posting a question, and uh, in this question, in this uh, question, I've uh, shown the question for. Sorry, uh, let me explain. So in your uh, Google Classroom, uh, you'll see an assignment in a few minutes, and in this assignment, you can attach your uh, code that you've typed on your own. 
okay so here you can see the constraints for the program so your title bar must mention your name and in the body you should say hello i am uh, name uh, from shri gurukulam so instead of this name you can substitute your own, own name like if it's raj say raj if it's uh, rani say rani okay depending upon whatever it is just uh, do this so uh, let me just assign it and then i'll show you how it works so all of you will receive this question in your google classroom and uh, when you are trying to attempt uh, this question it will show you if you want to upload so say upload and then upload your file okay uh, let me show you so once uh, all of you click on the question this is what you will see okay everyone this is what you will see so those are using laptops this is what you will see once you open google classroom in your laptops this is what you will see uh, just clear click next year once you see today's question what you going to do is you going to click on add okay you going to click on add file okay then it will show you uh, where it is if you want to add a picture or whatever just click on file and then navigate uh, click on upload and then navigate your file system uh, to upload your file okay uh, so let's say something like seventh standard okay so here i'm selecting my fly, uh, file and then uploading it so once you upload fully uh, you can turn it in okay uh, either upload the entire uh, content or upload a screenshot if you are getting some errors upload the file and type the error here okay uh, just describe the error also so we can try to rectify it in the next class okay we don't have time to rectify all the errors here so uh, upload your program and then upload the uh, type the error in the comment box yes sir sir how to take screenshot in pc sir so to take a screenshot in your pc uh, you're going to press uh, the print screen button on your keyboard Okay. Uh, sure. let me you. On your keyboard, you have a key called as print screen. You can see the name right here, P R T S C N. So click on this print screen. Okay. You can uh, here the computer will take a screenshot, and then you can go to okay. MS Paint, and then you can paste it. Okay. So here you can see once I press screenshot, it took a, a screenshot. Okay. Whatever was on the screen was automatically uh recorded or if you have uh, some computer like maybe uh, something like windows 7 or windows 10 you can go for start and then you can type the word snip okay yes and ip uh i'll recommend this method over anything else so just run your program okay just wait so run your program and then use the snipping tool to record your screen okay uh, so here you can see i've uh, uh, selected a specific portion of my screen it's not actually possible to explain the working here because as soon as you click no the screen will go inactive uh, so just uh, use the snipping tool say new and then say window snip and then select your entire window okay uh, So here you can see I've uh, uh, taken a screenshot of the entire window. Okay, let me show you once again. Use the snipping tool, select the mode as window, and then say new, and then select whichever window you want. Okay, so once you do that, it's going to take a screenshot of your entire window. Then click on save here, uh, and then save it in the same folder. So seven here. Okay, once you take your screenshot, you can add that file also here. You can say add, add file. You can say upload, browse, and then you can add the file. Okay, if you add a screenshot, it will be easier for us to correct. Okay, so once you upload uh, your uh, code and your screenshot, click turn in, and then your assignment will be sent to us. Okay, 
uh, so you have a week you have more than a week just uh, you just need to submit it before next class ne before we begin the next class so we can rectify all the errors uh, each and every one of you create okay we'll have to go sir, through it will take time so take at least a week yes sir in computer i, I don't have a google classroom sir how uh, can i submit sir in computer there is no app so you'll have to use your browser so in your browser go to google.com If you go to google.com in the uh, top right corner you're going to see three dots sorry nine dots click on those nine dots scroll all the way down and then you'll find the word google classroom click google classroom if you're signed in you'll see your all of your classes right here on your browser okay uh, so now we'll see the same explanation for android users uh, so android users you also have to complete your assignment So in order to do that, you're going to open Google Classroom. Select our class. Okay, let me just create uh, sample class. Sir, sir, have no errors. If you have no errors, that is very good. Okay. Uh, so uh, for Android users, you also do the same thing, uh, but uh, there's a small change. So let me just show you. Let's say this is your code. So you type down your entire code, then you run the code in your browser. once you do that you can quickly take a screenshot by using your uh, uh, volume down key and your power down so if you press and hold your power key and your volume down key you will take a screenshot in your uh, phone okay uh, so let me take a virtual screenshot right here fair i have uploaded the chrome file itself sir okay then that's fine okay so android users you can take a screenshot right here so you just press and hold your power and volume down keys and you'll take a screenshot so you can see the screenshot is saved then you can go on to your google classroom uh, click on today's question okay and then uh, once you see today's question okay let me answer like this okay uh, so once you see today's question you'll see uh, the question and the description and then you'll see an up button right here Okay, select the up button. Then you'll have place to add your attachments. Yeah. So here you're going to click on this add attachment button. Then you're going to select the uh, screenshot and your uh, HTML uh, code. Okay. So once again, open uh, the assignment in Google Classroom. Select up. Select add attachment, and then select file. so you will see all your various files so okay, let me just uh, uh let me just select the folder so it's class 7 so here i'm adding my html file then i can add my uh, screenshot also so okay let's say this is my uh, screenshot i'll just click on it and then i'll say turn it once i click on turn in this file will be submitted so make sure you're trying to at least uh, submit this screenshot okay so try and update uh, update the uh, try and update uh, post this screenshot okay and one more thing you have to post your attendance also just uh, do both in one go so this is a very very simple assignment so everyone you can go to google classroom type a code sorry uh, you can go to google classroom and submit your uh, code okay so if you get any errors just tell us the errors so we'll uh, you can rectify them in the next class i think that is uh, clear to everyone sir Classroom, you didn't add that code, sir. Attendance and uh, what? No, it is added. Just uh, go and check again, sir. Yes, sir. In my uh, tab, I can't install this uh, app code app, sir. So I can't. Uh, but the Google Classroom is in the tab only, sir. Uh, how can I send in the Google Classroom, sir? Okay, uh, why is it not allowing you to install? Sir, this is old version, sir. This is bought before uh, three year, thirteen uh, years back, sir. 
okay uh, then you can search for some other uh, text editor so i'm showing it to you on the screen so just uh, in your tab open your uh, play store and say text editor okay say text editor free and install whichever one works okay uh, so there are many actual applications just uh, click on any one okay so there is something like sublime text editor which is also very simple this will also work so if you can't install a code install some other uh, app okay uh, the app should be a text editor that is the only thing okay sir sir for me also okay, no error. so let me post a... okay if you get no errors please post your screenshot sir? yes sir how to convert it to browser sir mm -hmm. So if you are using A code in your Android phone, so just click on the play button in the top right corner. Sir. Yes. The question did not change, sir. Which one? Question Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, it did not change, sir. The question is there for everyone. I'm showing it to you on the screen. Okay, uh, so let me click on 7B. So in 7B under class view, we can see attendance and your question here. First, seventh C, sir. Okay, let me check. Okay, for 7C also, you can see the attendance and the uh, and the assignment. You can see both. Sir, for seven to six classroom code, can you type in chat box, sir? Sir, for a drink change, sir. No code. Which class okay, are you? Please check, check into the attendance. Sir, that sample class. Only that sample class you have, sir. sir. Seven years. Sir. Yes. I have doubt in saving the HTML, sir. Sir, for seven years. Yeah, now, let me post the uh, codes and your uh, and the recording of uh, and the YouTube video on your groups. Okay, let me post it after some time. Okay, I have to go to one more class also. Sir. So I think we can uh, disperse them. Yes. Sir, I have submitted my work, sir. Okay, then. Okay, fine. Children, see to that you are all part. submitting your attendance in the classroom. Okay? Uh, open your class, go to the classroom and find. Please get explored with all the tabs. Okay? You don't uh, uh, controversially, if you are asking doubts, you will not have time to explore at all. So, go open the Google Classroom, explore all the tabs, click on all the tabs and look at what are all the menus over there available. Okay? If it is done, you will not have any doubts at all. See to that you are exploring, getting explored by yourself. We will also give you the instructions and all the uh, support. By the same time, you must also try exploring, exploring the page by yourself. Yes? Uh, ma'am, I have uh, created ma'am a Chrome symbol and my name is coming, ma'am. Okay, you can upload that directly. The uh, assignment is given, right? You can just upload the file into the Google Classroom assignment. Sir? Okay, ma'am. Okay? Okay, children, we'll end off the class. Uh, we'll just close the session today. We have other classes 